All right, everybody, this is Pedros Kuyan. Let's get started with our webinar. And what we're going to do today is talk about the things that matter in your fitness business. And one of the biggest things that matter is where do I get leads from? And uh, what are the best places to get leads from right now? So I wanna share with you guys what's working now in fitness marketing and what to avoid. And the last thing I'm gonna teach in the what's working now is something that I've been doing with a private coaching client. I have a handful of private coaching clients who like to pay me an obscene amount of money to work with them one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and we've developed this new thing that's working really well, especially in the face of Facebook being a little wacky and randomly disapproving ads and shutting down ad accounts. So this gives you another funnel. So we'll get to that in just a second. So let's get started. All right, so what things do you want to avoid in fitness marketing? Things that are whispers and not shouts, things that don't uh, necessarily get you the best leads or are a complete waste of time and money. Well, thing number one is business cards. Now that we have the internet and uh, smartphones, we really don't need the, uh, well, we don't need the business card. It's gone. It's done. Quite honestly, you don't need to give someone your business card anyway. They're never going to call you. If you want to do your job right as a marketer, an entrepreneur, and a fitness professional, your job is to get the other person's contact info, their name, email, phone number, so you can reach out to them with communication. Never trust that the other person is going to take your card and call or contact you. Thing number two that doesn't work, just avoid it at all costs, is flyers on cars, for that matter, flyers on telephone poles, flyers at local businesses and stores. Any kind of flyers that you might go leave somewhere or distribute, they don't work. Complete waste of time, energy, and money. The amount of money you would spend on printing flyers um, and the time you would spend on making that flyer, you're better off running Facebook ads or doing something different that I'm going to teach you here. Of course, paid Yelp ads. We have yet to see anybody get a solid return on paid Yelp ads. Now, Yelp is great at contacting you and telling you that you know, if you ran ads on your competitors' Yelp ads, that uh, Yelp page, that you might actually get some leads. And they'll even tell you that if you ran ads, that they'll, uh, you know, take those hidden reviews and make them public. Um, I look at that as a sort of blackmail, and uh, I hope you do too. Um, so Yelp ads just simply don't work. Google pay per click. There was a time where Google pay per click ads worked, right? And that just simply meant those ads on the right-hand side of the search index when you look for, let's say, you know, your city personal trainer or your city boot camp. Now, of course, people are still searching Google, just so you know, for local businesses. They absolutely are. They're searching for local personal trainers and boot camps and fitness solutions and gyms. <clears throat> the problem is they're not searching like they used to because now uh, Facebook is doing a great job of putting what they're looking for right in front of them. So it used to be all about search marketing, and now it's about interruption marketing. We interrupt their Facebook experience by putting what they're looking for right in front of them through ads and promotions, right? So speaking of that, uh, by the way, I should tell you one more thing about Google pay-per-click ads. Um, back in the day when I used to run pay-per-click ads, you know, it was relatively inexpensive. Today, you're going to have to pay near, you know, three to five to seven dollars for a lead to, you know, contact you from Google pay per click. Um, on the flip side, you're going to pay anywhere from fifty cents to a dollar ten on Facebook. So you can see you're going to get a lot more bang for your buck. So, what else does not work? What do you want to avoid? You want to avoid running Facebook ads directly to your website. I'm not talking about to a site that is a low barrier offer, which I'll talk about in a second for those of you who don't know. I'm talking about a Facebook ad that goes directly to a multi-page website that advertises your business and, and has a contact us button and, and phone number and etc. Um, you are going to waste your time. There is one exception that I could see that happening and uh, working. And that is if you had a retargeting pixel, a Facebook retargeting pixel on your website where you can then retarget to the people who saw your ad, went to your website, and now that they've hit your website, you've cooked their machine through the retargeting pixel 
and are now chasing them, basically showing them your ads on Facebook. Uh, but that is going to be pretty costly to do all that. Because one, you're paying money each time they go to your website. And number two, you're paying money each time they see your ad now because they've gone to your website and are being retargeted. So that's kind of silly and a waste of time. Of course, another thing that's not working today is group closing. You are going to close some people in a group, but you're still going to close the most number of people for the highest dollar amounts when you close face-to-face, one-on-one. That's just the formula, right? Of course, selling big programs off the bat are not working either. We've seen people try this over and over again. Fact of the matter is people are time and money sensitive when they don't know, like, and trust you. Once they know, like, and trust you, you'll be surprised with how much money uh, they're willing to give you. But you've got to get them to know, like, and trust you first and then sell them a big program. So if you just meet someone and bring them in for a consultation and try to sell them on a, you know, 50-pack of training sessions or a 6- or 12-month training program or boot camp program, you're going to have a hard time closing them and you're going to say that I'm getting unqualified people and then I'm going to tell you that these are people who are actually skeptical and don't quite know you yet. So you would have done a better job closing those people on a low-barrier offer, a program that's under 30 days, that's under $100, get them to know, like, and trust you in that short period of time, and then sit them down again for a face-to-face consult where you can sell them a 6, 12, or even a 24-month program. I mean, those are those are really selling well right now, 24-month programs, once people know, like, and trust you from a low-barrier offer. So then what's working now? Well, let's talk about what's working now. Still... The best way to build your business is through email marketing, right? What do we do on Facebook? Well, we run ads to a page where we capture email and then make an offer. When we capture that email, it's because 60 to 70% of the people who come to your page are not going to buy. Those 60 to 70% give you their email address, and your job is to build that email list and to get that email list to know, like, and trust you. Once they know, like, and trust you, then you're going to offer a low barrier offer, right? You're going to make a program offer, uh, like a 28-day flat belly program, 14-day fat furnace, or a 21-day rapid fat loss program. Because when you can capture people on an email list and get them to know, like, and trust you, you are going to have a captive audience that you can reach out to anytime you want more clients. So, how does the email offer formula work? Let's go through that real quick in case you've forgotten, right? Now, this only happens, by the way, the free email sequence for a low barrier offer only happens after you have indoctrinated someone. What does indoctrinated mean? Think about this. If you just recently got on my email list, let's say you saw a Facebook ad or you were searching fitness marketing on Google um, and you saw, you know, one of my ads come up on Google or on Facebook, well, You don't really know, like, and trust me. Odds are you're going to give me your email address because I made an offer for something free. It could be come join me on a free webinar, get this free report on how to grow your personal training business. Once I give you that free thing, in that free piece of content, I'm building the know, like, and trust factor, right? I'm also going to send you an autoresponder sequence as soon as you get on my email list in exchange for getting that free thing. Over the next 7 to 10 days, so that you will buy, or uh, you know, I guess you'll buy, but you'll buy into the idea that I am the expert. So what am I going to do? I'm going to prove to you that I'm the expert in fitness marketing and building a successful training business by showing you amazing blog posts that I've written that have great social proof built in and really over-delivering content, value, and coming with the giving hand for seven to 10 days before making a low barrier offer. So once I've given you the free thing in exchange for your email address, once I've spent the next seven to 10 days sending you autoresponders that position me as the expert, give you a lot of credibility and social proof, uh, get a lot of great articles and blog posts in front of you, and really come with the goodwill, then I will send you a free email sequence for low barrier offer. Those three emails might go on a Monday, Wednesday, and a Friday, with the program, of course, starting the following Monday, right? That's, that's really how you want to do it. So email one, you're just going to tease the program. So email one, if you ever read the 14-day fat furnace email sequence, and 
you know, you can just go to ptpower.com and in the search box, look for, search the 14-day uh, fat furnace program. You'll get those three emails that I've written for you. But email one does the teasing of the idea. And it starts off with, I think I found a faster way to burn fat. And it says, I've been testing these, this new training method, and I think I've discovered a faster way to burn fat, and I might even create a program where I test this on a group of people. Stand by, I'll let you know. So email one really teases the idea and lets them know that there's something coming. That would come on a Monday. Email number two, on a, on a Wednesday, let's say, would then make the offer. It would remind them again of this new way of burning fat, you know, and you're calling it, and you're going to name the program, the 14-Day Fat Furnace, or whatever you're going to name yours. And, of course, you're going to make the offer and then give a call to action. That's what CK stands for, call to action at the end. The call to action is going to be either to for them to call you or to reply to that email, right? The call to action being a link that goes to a website, you're going to have a lesser response. In fact, you're going to have at least a 60% lesser response. In other words, I'll say it the other way. You will close 60% more people over the phone on a low barrier offer or via email where they respond to the email and you say, hey, what's your phone number? I'm going to contact you and get you on board because we only have 19 spots for this program, right? When they talk to you, you can overcome objections. When you send them to a website where they can click and buy, uh, you're likely not going to sell as many as you would if you talk to them in person. And finally, email number three, you're going to restate the offer, and this time you're going to build urgency before you make the call to action. Now, this works, by the way, um, whether you have low barrier offers that are 14 days, 21 days, 28 days, it doesn't really matter, six weeks, uh, it works. And this is the formula. People buy when there's a sense of urgency. So one, you have to restate what the offer is. Number two, you have to say, I had 19 spots. Now we have six spots remaining. By this point, it's Friday. The program starts the following Monday, right? So one component of urgency is the program starts Monday. Another component of urgency is, listen, I had 19 spots left, and now there's only six spots remaining. And then you give the call to action again, which is call me at this number to learn more and to get on board. Or reply to this email, and I'll let you know how we can get on the phone so that I can tell you more about the program and get you enrolled, right? I hope that makes sense to you. And that really is important, that your call to action is either a call me or reply to this email with the phone number to call you at. Now, after you make, this is really important here, after you make the low barrier offer, right, the low barrier sale over the phone, you're not done. You don't just go, okay, well, then start. you're starting on Monday. Come on in. Because remember, they may be coming on board for a 14-day fat furnace. But what's really going to happen here is you need to have a appointment set for, let's say, a week or 10 days into the program where they can sit across from you and you can close them face-to-face, -face, right? And for that to happen... You really need to be in a position where you can set that appointment right away. So once I was to sell you on a low barrier offer over the phone, the next thing I would do is say, hey, before we hang up, I want to make sure that we can do a nutrition consultation about a week or 10 days into your training with us. So let's set that up now. I have my calendar open and I would schedule you for that as well. And then I would say, okay. Mrs. Jones, I'll see you Monday for your first workout. And remember, put in your calendar as a reminder that the following Tuesday is when we're going to sit together for a nutrition consultation where I can tell you all about how to eat for fat loss. And of course, if you're interested, I'll even explain what programs we have available for you to continue on. So you already, you, one, make the low barrier offer sale. Two, you don't hang up. You set the appointment for the consultation. Nutrition consultation, which is code for an opportunity to uh, offer them or sell them, right? You're going to educate them first using the close client system. And then you're going to let them know that if you're interested, I'll let you know how you can continue. Now you have an appointment set to close them, and you don't have to try and chase them down during their workouts to set an appointment, which is kind of awkward, isn't it? Now then, what else works? Free Facebook marketing, right? I'm going to show you an example of this in just a second. So, your, number one thing, if you want to get clients from Facebook for free, you absolutely can. 
That means that you have to create a fan page and you also have to use your personal page as a marketing tool. And what that means is you have to post two times a day really good content, right? It could be a fitness tip, a good recipe that's, you know, gluten-free and carb-free and whatever, you know, low-fat that they can cook that night, uh, a short article. Uh, gee, you could even do a video where you demonstrate, you know, top three exercises that you can do to flatten your abs all in under five minutes, right? It's a two- to three-minute video that you can post that gives them content. And you need to do this twice a week. See, what happens is you're really positioning yourself as the person of authority and expert in fitness in your community by twice a day pumping out great content to your followers on your fan page and also on your personal page, right? Now, once you've done that, twice a week, you also have to post a client before and after. So just positioning yourself as a person of authority and credibility is one thing, but then backing it up with social proof twice a week by giving before and after pictures, right, is another. And of course, you know, doing a little case study on those before and after pictures. So let me show you an example of that. Um, we will go to here. And this is Nathaniel Dilworth. He's one of my coaching clients, a member of the Seven Figure Formula Mastermind as well. And here's, you know, just an hour ago he posted this. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five people, uh, you know, lost, what is this here? Gee, 29 pounds, 16 pounds, 30 pounds, 39 pounds, 28 pounds, right? These people lost a lot of weight, and what he did is he tagged them so that it shows up on their wall, this exact picture, and guess what happens there? As this shows up on their wall, people start commenting, don't they? When they comment, he's going to reach out to all of their friends and say, hey, thanks for commenting and supporting your friend who's losing weight with us. Can I offer you a free week to come work out at my facility, right? And so really what you're doing is you're tapping into the friends and followers of your clients. But you have to do this twice a week on a consistent basis, just like Nathaniel does. He does not spend any money whatsoever on Facebook. He simply puts before and after pictures, after before and after pictures, and a lot of content and, and tips. And uh, let me tell you, this guy makes enough money from his group training program where he gives away one car a year to a lucky winner who has seen the biggest transformation in his business. So it works. Is it a lot more work to put out all that content twice a day, every single day, and then twice a week before and after pictures? Sure it is, but it absolutely works, right? And there's a great example of that for you. So back to our PowerPoint here. All right then, so we know that works. Now that's a free way to drive traffic from Facebook. How about the paid way of driving traffic, right? There's Facebook ads. And in your Facebook ad center, Facebook will allow you to target people by age, gender, zip code, the city, radius from your address, right? And you can also target people who have liked your fan page, which is pretty cool, right? Now, there's really two ways to then get these people that you're targeting, either your fans from your fan page or specifically, you know, genders and age of people in your community that you're targeting with an ad. Way number one is you're going to run a free offer, right? You're going to say, hey, get a free ebook, report, a video, uh, a week trial. Uh, heck, maybe you're even going to offer them a enter to win six months of free boot camp or group training, right? It's another benefit, by the way, of you know doing group training or boot camp is that you can offer um, to give away one free membership for like six months or three months or whatever, and people can enter like a raffle. And once they enter, you capture their email address, right? You position yourself as the authority over the next seven to 10 days with great content and emails and before and after pictures all via email. You're going to make a low barrier offer to them at the end of that 7 to 10 days, right? Low barrier offer. And then, of course, before you hang up, you're going to set that appointment for the nutrition consultation, closing consultation. And then sometime during that low barrier offer, usually the last one-third of the time that's left on that program, so it's a 14-day fat furnace, sometime around day number 10 or 11, you're going to sit with them, talk nutrition, and then convert them into a long-term client. That's the formula. Right now, let me show you something real quick. I talked about 
that page that you can uh, send traffic to, a Facebook ad. And so, you know, I, I believe it's best to demonstrate. So this is the page that we have here for my, my own personal Fit Body Bootcamp location. Now, as you can see here, the timer has already expired, right? Because we already did this and we ended up getting over 400 opt-ins, um, which is awesome. And so what we did is, we just took a, a picture that we took at our Fit Body Bootcamp location. We made that as the backdrop. We used click funnels, as you can see right up here in the address bar. And we said, um, hey, Ontario, are you ready for the ultimate fitness experience? Enter to win a free six-month unlimited membership to Fit Body Bootcamp. They enter their name and email address and say, yes, I want it. And voila. All right. Done. Um, and so, actually, I can just do that. I can opt in there and, and you would see what you would get on the next page. So they simply opt in. I'm going to show you the ad in just a second. Let's see here. Is it taking me? All right. It's not taking me to the next page. Oh, there it goes. Da, 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 da. And it says, ta-da, thank you. You're in. And um, that's that, right? And what's really cool is, hey, we'll contact you and let you know. If, if you're a winner and, you know, we contacted everybody on June 8th, so this is an old page you're looking at. And, of course, we make them an offer here, right? And so we kind of contact them on this new 28-day program. We give them a heads up that we're pretty much going to reach out to them on a 28-day program. And we'll reach out to them via email now that we have their contact info. But this is what's important to you, is that you are going to build a page similar to this, and get you know three to four hundred email addresses. We spent a hundred and eighty bucks for those four hundred email addresses, and the ad that we ran looked like this. Here it is, right here. It said, uh, "Enter to win six months of free boot camp at Ontario Fit Body Boot Camp." There's the link that went to that page. Here's a picture that we used, and we ended up getting, gosh, we ended up getting a. Uh, something like 700 clicks to the website to get 400 opt-ins um, to us it was worth it right because we can then contact them one person obviously wins a six-month membership and everybody else gets contacted for a low barrier offer once we've built the know like and trust factor the authority factor so i hope that kind of gave you a good visual there of what we're doing there all right and that's kind of the free offer. And by the way, this the same offer works with a report, right? So like I said, you can give an ebook, a report away, anything to capture their email address, and then you're going to spend time to get them to know, like, and trust you, see you as the authority, and then you're going to make that low barrier offer. Never hang up. Once you make that sale on the low barrier offer, you're going to set the appointment for their nutrition consultation next, right? And then remind them to put it in their calendar and to turn on the alerts so that they're notified a day before that they have an appointment with you. And then voila, you're going to have a higher show rate. You don't have to chase down people just to convert them on a program. Now, option B is a ad, right? An ad on Facebook that goes to directly to a low barrier offer page where you're going to get one, step one, capture their email address, right? And then step two, sell them on the low barrier offer. And then now here's the thing. When you sell them on a low barrier offer, they buy. You have to contact them via email and somehow get on the phone with them. Um, and this could even happen when they come in for their first workout and get and when they're filling out their PAR-Q and liability release. And you have to schedule their uh, uh, nutrition consultation. That's going to be about halfway or two-thirds into the low barrier offer program, right? so that they're on the book so that you can sit down with them and convert them into a long-term client after they know, like, and trust you after training with you for, you know, whatever, 10, 12 days, right? That's very important. And the page we send them to there looks like this. You've probably seen this before. Again, our timer is down to zero right now because we just got done doing this, but it's a page that has a timer ticking away, usually about, you know, four days on the timer, if you have like 15 days on the timer, no one's got enough urgency to sign up because they're like, oh, I can come back later, and they never do. Four days, we found, is a sweet spot to start your timer. Excuse me, just drinking some water here. Now, uh, as soon as they hit this page, this video starts. All right, people, keep moving, keep moving. I am a living result of it. I've lost a total of 30 pounds ever since starting. Right, so we've got about a two-minute video here 
that goes right into explaining what Fit Body Bootcamp is, how we change lives. It shows before and after pictures, um, shows what the workouts are like. So they come in here to this page within the first like 30 seconds. They know what the workouts are like, what to expect, uh, that it's a fun, high energy atmosphere. And of course, they see two or three before and after pictures. Uh, the timer is ticking away. They see it's low barrier offers, 21, uh, 21 days for 21 bucks, and they can enroll. When they go to enroll, step one does not take them to the shopping cart. Step two takes them and says, give us your email address first, because we know 60 to 70 percent of the people, sometimes even more, who come to your low barrier offer website are not going to buy right away, even though they click that enroll button, right? which is why you want to capture their email address first and then drop them on the shopping cart page so that when they leave the shopping cart, you still have their email address to market to them after you know, like, and trust. Here's Christina, our head coach, uh, some copy about what the program is all about, before and after pictures, of course, the timer again, enroll now, and of course, more pictures from our Fit Body Bootcamp photo shoot that we did. And again, very important, when they hit enroll now, Capture their email address first and then move them along into the shopping cart because 60 to 70 percent will not buy today. You will have to market to them and get them to know, like, and trust. Finally, at the bottom of our website, we have the Google Maps, our phone number, our address, and it's as simple as that. People who are still hesitant don't even want to click enroll now, but they have a question, they can contact us with the phone number, right? Very easy. So let's go back to our PowerPoint here from the current slide there we are boom so two ways right capture their email address first in exchange for giving them something a video a report ebook a week free uh enter to win six months of free membership or the other one which is you run an ad they're both ad driven except instead of going to a free offer they're going to an offer where they're going to pay a small amount of money for a short period of time but you capture their email address first before you ever send them to the shopping cart now, what else works? Referrals are king. Referrals are literally the bloodline of a strong and successful fitness business. Because you might be really good at buying ads from Google and pay-per-click and traffic from Facebook and etc. But if you are not getting referrals, that is a sign of illness in a fitness business. Because when clients are not referring, that's their way of telling you they're not happy with the program. They may be paying you because they like you as a person. They, uh, they may feel like they're committed to a, a program or a contract, but if they're not referring to you, that is a sign of a illness that your program has, which is typically an issue where you have to, one, deliver the results that they're expected to get and they're not getting, and number two, build a community uh, because they need to feel like it's a fun community that they're a part of. If they're getting the results they expected and if they feel like this is a community that, that they're a part of, you are going to get referrals, especially if you do what I'm about to show you next. And remember that referrals, by the way, are the most qualified leads because imagine if I tell you, hey guys, I own a Nissan GTR. I love the Nissan GTR. If you want to get a fast sports car, but don't want to spend all this money on a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, uh, but want a car that goes just as fast and can actually dust those two cars, then you should get a Nissan GTR. Well, guess what? As an owner of a Nissan GTR and as a friend of yours, you're likely to take my advice and pass on the Ferrari and the Lamborghini in lieu of getting the GTR, right? And it's likely that you're going to spend the most amount of money on that GTR, meaning you'll get all the features that they ask for and, and uh, that they're selling. And so with a lead, when they come to you from a current client, they're more likely to spend a lot of money with you and they're going to stay a longer period of time. That's just statistically been proven, right? So you got to get referrals. So how do we do that? One, you have to make giving referrals a condition of doing business with you. The moment Mrs. Jones signs up on a program with us, we shake their hands and go, Mrs. Jones, thank you for signing up here at Fit Body Bootcamp or wherever your facility is going to be, right? Um, listen, as we help you achieve your fitness and fat loss goals and get you to your goal, can we count on you to help us get, our, get to our goal? which is to help more people here in our community. I don't like to spend a lot of money on marketing, and so the best way that I can keep my prices low is by helping people who are within your circle of influence. Can I count on you to tell your friends, family, coworkers about me once I start showing you amazing results? They're gonna say yes, you shake hands, 
you have now made it a condition of doing business with you, which is really awesome, right? Now, thing number two, you have to encourage referrals as well. Just telling them in the get-go is not, is not enough. You have to encourage referrals by sending them handwritten thank you cards with plastic gift cards uh, that says, hey, you know, give these out to your friends. Uh, these gift cards have $100 worth of training on them. Um, or you could simply write, you know, just something awesome to them, right? Hey, Mrs. Jones, thank you for being a great client. Thank you for pushing yourself during every workout. Listen, I want you to know that I build my business on referrals and the greatest compliment you can give me is by telling me, uh, telling your friends about me and letting me know who I can give a free week to as a trial, any one of your friends or coworkers, right? So periodically send them handwritten thank you cards or text messages or an email or a private Facebook message. One, that's a very personal, awesome, cool thing to do uh, to pump them up, to build them up. And two, it's a great way to encourage them and to remind them that you build your business on referrals and it truly is part of the way uh, that you expect them to do business with you. Now, this next one here is you have to have referral generation contest. I think about every three months is a great way, great time to do a referral gen contest. So what do you do? Well, you have a quarterly referral generation contest by having the giant marker board up writing all your clients' names on the left-hand side, right, vertically, and then across the top, it might be for one week that you're gonna have this referral contest. You're gonna have seven days across the top, and then you're gonna tell all your clients, hey guys, for the next seven days, your uh, friends and family members only can buy my 21-day rapid fat loss program for only 21 bucks, right, or even two weeks for 21 bucks. You decide what you're gonna give away. You know, really good deal for a really good price. I'm going to donate the 21 bucks to a local charity. And by the way, um, I'm giving away two prizes. Prize number one is a really big prize, and it's going to be an iPad. Um, and the iPad is going to go to the person who brought in the most referrals, right, automatically. Prize number two is everyone can get this prize, and that is a uh, half off your next month of training for every person that you refer to us who bought my you know 21 day rapid fat loss program uh, every person who you refer to us who signs up on a long-term program you get half off your next month right so basically if mrs jones sent you 10 referrals um, she might not win the ipod or the ipad because someone else sent you 20 referrals right but she might end up getting the next three months for half off if three of those people, the 10 people that she sent, ends up signing up on an ongoing program, which means Mrs. Jones gets the next three months for half off. What a smoking deal. And so every three months, you can run these referral generation contests and really encourage your clients for the next seven days to tell everybody about it. And a uh, great way to donate to charity, great cause, right? Anytime there's a human interest cause involved, people like to get involved. There's a prize involved and there's something involved for every single person who converts that these people get, your clients get half off their next month. So it's a really trifecta of win, win, win. Of course, last and final thing you're gonna to do to encourage referrals is you're gonna remind your clients via email that you uh, have built a business, uh, that, that you don't want to spend a lot of money on marketing, and therefore, even though you're gonna spend a lot of money on marketing, guys, you're gonna save this in your emails, right? I don't like to spend a lot of money on my marketing because if I do, that means I have to raise my prices on you and I don't wanna keep my prices super high. And so I count on you, my clients, to refer your friends, family, and coworkers to me. So just reply to this email and you know, CC a friend that I can give a free week to and then I'll take great care of them. Uh, no pressure sales process, uh, give them a free week. If they like the program and they wanna continue, I'll let them know what our program prices are no, by the way, if they continue, you get half off your next month, right? Well, how cool is that? Now they're going to make connections for you and email you referrals. And uh, you have to just simply offer a free week or two and then close that person. I mean, done and done, right? Now, this is the thing that I was most excited to share with you guys. Uh, there's a few more moving parts, but this has been working with one of my coaching clients who's a private coaching client. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to share his website with you, just want to be fair, but I created a mock website, as you can see here. So here's what you do, right? Thing number one is you create an organization, just like a fake uh, local organization, something like fitnesswellnessalliance.org, right? Um, 
or some other kind of .org. It has to be a .org website so that it looks uh, legit that it's a kind of an it needs to give off this nonprofit type of a legit organization, right? That serves as a hosting party for weight loss workshops that are going to be done locally at local hotels. Now, your business is going to be the main sponsor of these workshops, right? That this organization is putting on. You will, or your team, you know, if you have an assistant or whatever, are going to get six to eight more local businesses to co sponsor the event. They don't put any money towards this at all, right? All that means is that they're going to get their logo on a banner that you're going to put up in the hotel uh, conference room. It's going to be displayed. And so your, your logo is going to be huge on that banner. And then their logos are going to be smaller as local sponsors, right? Of the fitnesswellnessalliance.org, and you can create your own little domain. I just created, literally created that this morning for you guys um, to mo kind of model what we're doing with my private coaching clients um, who's doing this. Now, as a co sponsor, of course, those six to eight other local businesses have to, in order to get their logos on the banner, for you to give them a shout out and encourage all the people in the audience to go and visit them. As a co sponsor, they have to promote your workshop. Uh, specifically the website, obviously, to their email lists, to their customers by driving traffic to that website uh, through email list, by putting out um, tiny little postcards that you can have made that they can have at their cash registers and uh, their point of sale to give out, etc. This could be juice bars, supplement stores, health food stores. This could be a chiropractor's, physical therapist, massage therapist, uh, nail salons, hair salons, tanning salons. I mean, you can go goofy with it, right? Just get as many people. Uh, in fact, what my, my client, a uh, private coaching client who does this, even does it with like restaurants, like pizza joints, right? Who have an email list and, you know, they're sponsors. And, and the twist that he puts on it is, hey, you can go have your pizza, but make sure instead of having the fried onion rings with it or this other thing with it, you know, have a salad along with, uh, you know, a slice or two of pizza instead of four or five slices of pizza, right? And so, but obviously all these co-sponsors must promote your, uh, these workshops that your version of this .org is doing, right? I'm going to show you an example in just a second. Now, after people go to this website, right? So after opting in on a specific date and time, you're going to call them and you're going to charge them a $20 refundable fee to reserve their seat, Right? for one of the three upcoming dates and locations. Again, I'll show you this in a second. And at the workshop now, of course, once they show up, you're more than welcome to refund them the money, right? In fact, one of the best ways you can refund the money is you can create a fake gift certificate. Um, in fact, let's say you have those six sponsors or eight sponsors, you can create a $20 gift certificate to any one of the sponsors, right? So you might create, um, if you have 30 people there, you're gonna create 30 for each uh, sponsor a gift certificate and you're going to say, Hey, we're going to, we could either refund you can cash or we can give you a gift certificate of $20 or maybe you can double it $40 to go spend at one of these local businesses, right? So you give the money back as a gift certificate. Of course, that local business has to honor that, but it's likely that they're going to go and spend the $40 and then more. So you're really giving the money away as a gift certificate or if the person wants their cash back you can give them cash. At the workshop, of course, you are the only speaker and you are going to speak on the topic that they signed up for, which is going to be weight loss secrets revealed, right? You can thank the sponsors out loud and tell the attendees to check out, you know, to check them out. And of course, you start teaching and you're basically going to teach everything from close clients, uh, you know, such as the nutrition and why you want to eat multiple meals a day and how obviously you want to control your blood sugar and, and when to eat carbs and what carbs, what kind of carbs to avoid, etc., uh, you're going to teach the difference between cardio and high intensity interval training and of course the benefits of resistance training and you're going to reveal the myths of uh, traditional diets and why they fail and why traditional workouts done at a big box gym you know are designed to kind of sabotage you because your body gets used to it and adapts and you're no longer seeing results right and at the end of your workshop you are going to pitch you're going to offer a challenge lose 20 pounds and get your money back. That's typically one of the best challenges to offer that we've seen. So you might have a six-week challenge that's that's um, $97, right, or $197. Everybody pays for the six-week challenge, and you're going to say, look, 
when you lose 20 pounds during the six weeks, I give your money back. And of course, if they lose 20 pounds, you give them their money back. But in the process of giving their money back, you go, hey, look, why don't you continue on and keep losing weight? Let's apply the 197 you paid towards your first month of continuing on. And you're just going to are going to become an ongoing member of my facility. Of course, anybody who doesn't lose the 20 pounds, you pretty much do the same thing. You can say, look, you, you're not going to get your money back because you didn't lose the 20 pounds. However, if you decide to continue on working with me since you lost 8 pounds, 9 pounds, 12 pounds, I'll apply the money that you gave towards a 12-month program with me or a six-month program. So really, with everyone, you're going to end up offering them the opportunity to use the money they paid towards a ongoing six, 12, or 24-month program, right? And so at this challenge, if you have, uh, if you run three of these uh, workshops a month, you get 30 people, right, per workshop, which is easy to do if you have six to eight sponsors, right? You get 30 people to a workshop, uh, and the workshop should take about two and a half hours. You should be able to close 10 people per workshop on a six-week challenge, right? And let's say of those 10 people, you end up converting four of them onto ongoing programs. So four and four is eight plus another four is 12. That's 12 new 12-month programs or six-month programs or 24-month programs a month is what you're going to close um, during these workshops. So let me show you here what the page looks like, the, the you know fitnesswellnessalliance.org page looks like. And remember, I just had this made for you like literally 30 minutes ago, right? Here it is. Here it is. So just a cute little symbol. Uh, Fitness Wellness Alliance. I just went and bought that domain name this morning. You can go buy anything. You know, you can buy Chino Hills or whatever city you're in. You know, Chicago Fitness Wellness Alliance dot org. Right, if you're in Chicago, and it's going to read copy. It's going to read pretty much something like this. I wrote this copy, so I promise you it'll work. Local educational workshops dedicated to helping our community live healthier and more fit lives. Of course, it says, "Hey, thank you for visiting." Fitness Wellness Alliance, our mission, right? Because remember, this is a separate organization than you. That's how we're positioning it. Our mission is to empower our community with science-backed, information-packed workshops on health, fitness, wellness, and weight loss taught by local experts. So you can see how this is already positioning you as an expert without them even knowing who you are yet. Taught by local experts free of charge, right? Our next workshop dates and uh, topics and locations. Here they are, July 18th or July 12th. Sorry. 11th, Weight Loss Secrets Revealed, Hampton and Hotel in Sherman Oaks. There's a time, right? And they just put in their name, their email, phone number, and register, right? Here's the July 18th one. Here's the July 25th one. Name, email, phone number. When they click register now, they go to a thank you page that says, hey, we'll contact you. Of course, you call them and email them and say, hey, to reserve your spot, you will have to pay $20. It's totally refundable because we've got a lot of people coming and seating is limited. And it says that here too. Seating is very limited for these workshops. We'll email you or text you with a confirmation, right? Which is which is why we're asking them for their email and phone number. People always want to know why are you collecting my information? We want to tell them that to alleviate their anxiety, right? Uh, it says, of course, should the workshop that you requested be full, you'll be notified and added to the next workshop uh, waiting list, right? So we're implying that hey, very limited seating. Uh, if it's full, you're going to miss out. You'll be on a waiting list. This is going to help you, this copy, because when you call them, you go, look, uh, I need you to pay $20 to hold your spot. When you come here, you get your $20 back. This is just to hold your spot to show us that you're serious. They come to the workshop and you work your magic. And if you don't think this works, guys, let me just show you. Um, let me just tell you about Robert Kiyosaki, right? Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and Robert Allen. Uh, how to buy homes with no money down, and you've probably seen heard radio commercials for all these other places, where you know they have people traveling the country for them, running workshops, running ads on radios that says "Come to a free workshop." We're teaching how to buy homes with no money down, and then there at these workshops, they educate, indoctrinate, uh, position themselves, and then of course they sell high ticket, you know, programs. Right? I'm just asking you to sell a six week program for 97 or 197 and then move people into a funnel. And this is actually how my private coaching client is building his uh, three locations uh, throughout LA. And uh, he does zero Facebook advertising. He's good with public speaking. And this is what he spends most of his time on doing for driving traffic. 
Um, so it works for him. It's obviously going to work for you. And it's definitely worked for me when I had my five locations as well. So with that said, then, what do we have left? It is time for questions. And this is the only picture I could find of me where uh, I look like I'm asking a question. So I thought it'd be fun. This was, uh, I think this picture is a still from the Spike TV uh, gym rescue show that we did. Um, so anyway, enough with the hijinks. Let's open this up for questions. Let's see here. All right. Um, if you have questions, guys, this is the time to put them here. Aaron asks, is there an autoresponder? Da, 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 boom, there it is. Is there an autoresponder sequence that we can use for people new to our email list? Not LBOs. Oh, you mean like an indoctrination one, right? I know what you mean. Um, you know what? How cool would it be if I reached out to the seven figure group and asked you guys all for your best indoctrination content emails? And if each of you sent me one, uh, me and James, my copywriter, can make a killer sequence for you guys. I would gladly do that for you guys if you guys would do your part and send me just one of your best indoctrination emails, right? A content piece, the welcome email, uh, all that cool stuff. Yeah, isn't that awesome, Jeremy? So uh, again, the beautiful thing about being in a mastermind and working together, of course, I'll take your best content and I'll take it up 10 notches and uh, we'll make, it make a killer uh, 10 day autoresponder sequence, and then you are good to go. Uh, so Aaron says, uh, if we're running a referral contest, what prizes work the best? How often should we run the contest and how long should the contest last? <laughs> I thought I told you all that. All right. So if you're running a referral contest, the best prizes are iPads. Now the iWatches are awesome as well, right? Uh, even mountain bikes. We've given away mountain bikes. I've had other coaching clients give away really awesome kind of road bikes, mountain bikes. Things that are priced between like, let's say 250 to $400 are great prices, right? But that's where you really have to encourage your clients. Um, you, you have to pump them up for that entire week. So which leads me to the next question. How long should the contest last? Just one week. You know, they're not going to be hitting up their friends and coworkers and their neighbors for more than a week for you, right? So you have to really encourage them for a whole week. And what you'll find, by the way, when you're doing these referral generation contests is that a small percentage of your, so if you have, let's say, 100 clients uh, in, in your business, you're probably going to have your top 10 clients who are going to compete hard for the prize, and the rest are just going to send you one or two referrals. But that's okay. That's just the nature of this, this business. And, of course, the contest should get done every quarter. So about every three months, Aaron. All right. Whoops. Wrong way. Jeremy says, oh, that's awesome. Brian says, that would be wicked. Of course it would. Matthew says, what would you charge for the sponsors? Dude, you're not going to charge anything to the sponsors. Nothing. Um, you don't have to worry about covering the hotel fees. If you think about this, a hotel ballroom should cost you. I mean, if you go to like your local Hampton Inn or Ayers Hotel or you know just your local hotel that has a little meeting room for 20 to 30 people to sit theater style, and you're going to rent it for two and a half hours. They're going to charge you about 300 bucks for the day normally. So I'm guessing you're going to pay less than 300 bucks. You close two people and you just covered your costs. Uh, let's say another 150 bucks for the banner. So you close three people and you've covered the cost of three to four people will cover the cost of the entire thing. So don't charge your sponsors anything. What you're going to get from your sponsors is in exchange for giving them recognition and then, of course, exposing them to the people at the workshop and putting them on that banner. They're going to work hard and you have to encourage them to work hard to drive traffic to your website, that, that fitness wellness alliance or your version of that org, where they're going to drive traffic and you're going to suck out from their audience. So you're not going to charge them anything. Um, all right. Chad says, uh, what scheduling program did you use for the program for the people to register for the seminar? No scheduling program whatsoever, dude. There's just three different opt-in boxes. And depending on the opt-in box they fill out, they go through three different pages. Uh, all right, that says, thank you for registering on this date. And if you don't even want to make it that complicated, it doesn't matter. As long as you can code, you know, like in your FitPro newsletter, each opt-in box goes to a different dates um, workshop list, if you will, so that you know that, okay, these three people signed up for July 11th. These 10 people signed up for July 18th. Then you can just reach out to them and say, hey, uh, thank you so much. You know, let's let's get the 20 bucks and make sure that you have a seat reserved. So no scheduling software whatsoever. Very simple to do. 
Trevor says, hey, be awesome webinar. When you close someone on a low barrier offer, uh, let's see, small fonts, man. My eyes are going on me. Low barrier offer, is it a lot less effective to close someone on a long term if you wait longer than 10 days to do the consultation? Yes. Yes, in fact, it is. So even if you guys are doing like a 28-day flat belly program or as much as I'm not a big fan of a, a six-week low barrier offer, um, six-week low barrier offers work. It's just they're a little bit harder to close unless you're good at it. it you want to close them within the first 10, even 15 days. The reason is, like anything else, think about the first time you get a new car. You baby that new car for the first week or two or three, maybe even for the first month, and then you just leave it outside, don't wash it anymore, and that's just how it is, right? And so really what you're going to do is you're going to close them while they're most excited about the program. And we all know as trainers, your clients are most excited within the first two weeks and then they lose that enthusiasm. So you can close them within the first 10 days. You definitely want to close, let them get at least two or three workouts in, but that's why I like closing them around then day 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, they've already experienced some results, either energy or some weight loss, strength, right? Endurance. Um, They've gotten to know, like, and trust you and your clients there, and you're in a position where you can close them and say, look, let's continue on, and you have until the end of your low barrier trial offer to uh, to close, to to decide if you're going to stay on this program. If at the end of the program, at end of the 28 days or six weeks, you decide you don't want to continue, just let me know. I'll tear up this agreement. Otherwise, you're just going to roll into our regular clientele base like everyone else, and we're going to charge you X amount of dollars to change your life. Simple as that. All right, Brian says, question about the management, about, oh, about list management. With the email email building opt-ins contest, okay, the six-month program, yeah, do you send them to a specific list separate from a main newsletter list? Uh, I have run now two opt-in contests and not sure what to do with them. Oh, you'll put them on a separate list, but they'll still get your newsletter during that time too. It's just you're also going to send them autoresponders, right, indoctrination autoresponders before... Uh, you send them to LBO, the low barrier offer. So you say, do I do an indoctrination to a low barrier offer to them, uh, to they buy or die? Yeah, pretty much. So you're going to do the six week um, or six month, win a six month offer. They're going to opt in. They're on a separate email list, separate bucket, but they're still going to get your newsletters. You're going to indoctrinate them for about, you, you know, you, you, by the way, guys, this is very important you're going to have to let that list know who the winner was, right? Otherwise, they're going to think that I'm not going to buy anything from this guy because I might have won the six months. So on that June 8th or whatever that date is, you have to announce to that list, hey, the winner was Susie from wherever, and she's the winner, um, and that's that. And then you spend the rest of the time indoctrinating them for about a week or two, right? And then low barrier offers all day long. Still the newsletter goes out, still case studies goes out to them, and you just keep giving them low barrier offers because now they're on your list, so they're either going to buy or die. All right. Chad had the big aha moment. Love it. Carlos says, hey, Bedros, is there a system for how to run a successful workshop, a structure? Um, no, there isn't, but what I'll gladly do is I'll outline one for you guys. In fact, I'll, we can even demonstrate one, a short one, at the next Mastermind in, uh, in September. But quite honestly, you know, all of you have been to Fitness Business Summit, so just think about what it is. The whole pro first, you welcome them aboard. It would definitely, definitely help if you had a PowerPoint. It would certainly help if the beginning of that PowerPoint kind of said who you are and what you do in a fun way. You don't want to go ten PowerPoint slides deep with this stuff. You, you know, quickly one slide who you are, what you do, and then spend the next three or four slides showing them before and after pictures of clients. We've gotten amazing results, right? This gives them hope and shows that you're a badass at what you do, right? So you show them before and after pictures, tell some client stories from those people on the in the PowerPoint, and then you go, all right, now let me teach you uh, what you're here for. And you could either use a marker board or a PowerPoint, and you start talking about the three components of fitness, nutrition, uh, proper cardiovascular training, and resistance training. And then at the end of that, you, you go, you take questions first, right? at the end and you go, okay, now since all you guys took the opportunity to come here, you have to make it a limited uh, limited quantity. I'm gonna pass out these applications and I'm only taking 10 people from this group 
who want to do my next six-week challenge. So you'll want to explain what your six-week challenge is after you take questions. Explain what your six-week challenge is, what it consists of, uh, what they get. Maybe they get a nutrition component, three to five workouts a week, whatever. And then finally, of course, you're going to say, all right, now you got the application. Fill it out. First 10 people to turn in their application. Get to do my six-week challenge at our facility for the, for the discounted price of 97 bucks or 197 and then, of course, you're going to give them time to fill out that application, just like I do at Fitness Business Summit, right, with the masterminds. And then you're going to say, all right, guys, thank you so much. Um, go ahead and turn in your applications to me. And voila, people will literally just run up to you. And, of course, you decide if you're going to take 10 people or every application that came in. But that's pretty much the process there. All right, Aaron says, excuse me, drinking some water here. We've been trying to implement rollover closes. Basically, we ask people to reserve their uh, continuation program, six or 12 month program, when they sign up for their low barrier offer. They have until the end of the low barrier to cancel, exactly. Should we do this their first day? You can do it your first day, and I have no problem with you doing it on the first day of the low barrier offer. Dude, if you feel confident and you can do it on the first day, go for it. If you can't, then, of course, um, you want to let one or two workouts go by so they can try you out for it. So it really has to do with your confidence in your closing skills. If you feel that you can close strong, then you tell them right away, look, Mrs. Jones, 98% of my cli- of people who do these 14-day fat furnaces or 21-day programs or whatever end up staying on board for 6 or 12 months. And so just to make it easy and so we don't have to have an awkward conversation later, let's go ahead and just check this box off on the sales agreement that says that you're going to continue on after the 14 days. At the end of the 14 days, if you decide it wasn't right for you, you don't want to continue, fine, don't continue. Otherwise, you can continue on for this discounted price of $197 a month. Simple as that. If you have that kind of level of confidence, man, close them right away. I certainly would, and I would feel totally good about it. I tell you guys to you know let them have a few workouts under their belt first and then schedule their nutrition consultation because the truth of the matter is, most of you, most of us, don't have that high level of confidence just yet. And so I want you guys to build that likability and trust and credibility after a few workouts, which is going to make the closing easier when you schedule that consultation. So I hope that made sense to you, Aaron. All right, Dave says, Bedros, how did you get... <laughs> Very funny, David. How do you get so gangster? Uh, it is a badass, idea, a badass idea to host a free fitness workshop. Um is it a bad idea to host a free fitness workshop at your gym? Ah, uh, you can if you have a nice enough gym or if you can get enough chairs. But don't if it looks janky, man. If it looks kind of, you know, whatever plastic chairs and stuff, right? I mean, think about what you're trying to sell here. You're trying to sell to people who have never met you a uh, six week program for two hundred bucks. So if you could do it in a hotel conference place where they, you know, they've seen the hotel before in their community, they know they're coming to a conference or a workshop. It makes it more legit. Once we start putting it inside of our gyms and stuff, and then, you know, maybe people are working out, maybe it's kind of crowded, they're sitting on the floor, you don't have enough tables and chairs, it starts feeling a little janky. And of course, that begins to impact in a negative way your closing. Manny says, Hey, Bedros, thanks for taking the time to teach us. No problem, my friend. Uh, my question is, besides getting referrals, what would you, what would be your number one secret weapon to increase your income without spending too much money? You, um, you, um, your steak signs are killing it for us. Oh, dude, I'm happy that those signs are killing it. Yeah, those uh, political signs, right, that you put out. Um, what is the next thing that you can do? Well, without spending a lot of money, man, the next thing you can do is, is you know, like you said, referrals, right? You said besides referrals, but referrals are the next thing you can do that are free. And, of course, the thing after that would be to use uh, Jeff Sherman's Game Changer program. If you just Google... Uh, Jeff Sherman Game Changer Program, you'll find it. And basically, uh, you spend zero dollars because you take your existing clients and you sell them on an additional 12, 12 week program on top of their current program. And that's how Jeff Sherman added another $48,000 a year to his income by selling a higher level service to his clients. And so you can buy his entire email sequence and sales process that he uses with his existing clients to sell them a higher level of coaching for more money. Um, that's that's your answer there, my man. 
All right, Carlos says, thank you. You're welcome, my friend. And of course, Carl says, uh, B, for the seminars, would you recommend uh, partnering up with the Chamber of Commerce as one of the small vendors for the Wellness Alliance? Absolutely, man. Chamber of Commerce, uh, Rotary Club is another one, right? The local Rotary Club. If there's any local kind of business alliance, anything, any kind of business that has your idea, that you know serves your ideal prospects. So if you have a business that does like, let's say, you know, neat little pottery or jewelry store, right? I mean, why wouldn't a jewelry store that sells high-end jewelry uh, that's local, why wouldn't they promote you? And guys, remember, I'm not opposed to bribery. I'm not saying give people money, but I'm saying you can tell these businesses, by the way, that, hey, look, not only am I going to put you on the banner and position you guys as the best business in the community and you guys are going to be awesome sponsors for free, uh, you, as the owner of that business, can come and work out at my gym uh, absolutely free for the next 90 days. You know, All I ask is that you send people to this workshop where I'm teaching for free um, You know how to help our community get fit. So what an awesome thing they're doing. They're telling their list, their customers, hey, here's a great value add for you to be healthy. Uh, of course, the gym owner gets, a, gets to work out at your – or the business owner gets to work out at your place for free for 90 days, right? Uh, they get to be a sponsor and they don't pay a penny. So just start totally thinking out of the box. But that's a great idea, man. Chamber of Commerce, Rotary Club, uh, just any kind of business that serves your ideal client. Sylvia says, what are the top three strategies to partner with businesses other than the workshop? So the, the workshop is one. The other one is for you to do lunch and learns, which, which we've talked about. And you can just email Joan and she'll send you the webinar for the Lunch and Learns, where I teach how to do webinars, or uh, Lunch and Learns the right way. But you're gonna pick you know, a couple businesses a month and go do Lunch and Learns, where you buy their lunch and you teach them stuff, pretty much run a workshop while they're eating lunch, and then offer them to come and do a six week uh, program, right? Low barrier offer at your facility. And of course, the third way is you pick one business a month and say, hey, uh, each month I like to sponsor a local business and give all of the staff a free 28 day workout. And this month I've chosen you. And so it could be a real estate office, could be a hair salon. Hair salon would be great because, you know, imagine all these hairstylists working out at your place for 28 days. And then as they get in shape, they're going to tell all these different people who are getting their hair done that they're working out with you. Because think of all the conversation that takes place when you're getting your hair done, right? And so those are really the top three ways, Sylvia. All right, guys, any other questions before we wrap it up here? Going once, going twice, and gone. want to thank you guys so much for joining me on the webinar today. I had a blast doing this webinar. Of course, as always, we will get the recording of this webinar up for you guys on Monday on the resource site so that you can go back and study this information. All right, gang, this is Pedro Kulian. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.